Hello there. So, this is, I guess, a little how to, how to use the electronic dictionary. So this is the, as you can see, the Casio X Word Data Plus. Come on, zoom in your bugger. Data Plus XD A6500, and it's a Japanese to English dictionary. So it's a Densi Jisho. And um, yeah, so I think it's quite useful, but I think it could be quite difficult for people to use who have a quite a low level of Japanese or you know just beginning because as you can see it's actually <clears throat> all written in Japanese everything there's no English there at all it's all in Japanese the screen's all in Japanese so if you've not learned much Japanese then you're probably panicking to be honest so yeah so there are many different types of Japanese dictionaries you can buy this one I think it retails from anywhere between 20,000 and 40,000 yen, which is about you know 180 pounds to about 350 whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure about the exchange rate. You can check that. But um, I was a bit of a cheeky chappy, and I found it on Amazon for um, for 16,000 yen. But I'm not going to say you're going to be that lucky. So we'll move on, shall we? So. There are many different features, and I'll get onto those in a minute, but let's go through the f the main two features first. So we've got English to Japanese, and Japanese to English. So, firstly, you're going to wonder, well, where is English to Japanese? So, come on you bugger, zoom in. No, it's not working, is it? Okay, there we go. So, we've got a screen up on me, and it's a touch screen, so we can just tap the screen, but I can't be bothered. So, if we go across using this, so we're going to go left aren't we, so this one, so we go across and this, these three kanji it says Eigo K, so it's basically English language uh, so yeah I guess if you have a basic grasp of katakana etc you might be able to work your way around but let's just say you don't and let's say you have no idea. So let's just go through them. So the first one says Oxford Dictionary, basically. I'm not going to go to the candy because there's no point. It's an Oxford Dictionary. The second one is Genius Dictionary. The next one is Progressive. And this is just, well, all sorts of crap. We don't, I don't even use that one, so let's not, go, let's not bother going into it. So firstly, we've got the Oxford Dictionary. And you can see here, it's got those two kanji which mean England. So it's got, it says A, A, G, 10. So what do you think that means? Well, if A, wa means English to Japanese and wa, A means Japanese to English, then I suppose A, A means English to English. So basically what you've got here is quite a nice English to English dictionary. So you've got here, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. <clears throat> and it's quite nice. So you know, even when you're not learning Japanese, when you're just doing something, <coughs> sorry, in English, you can uh, you can use it. So I mean, I was reading a quite a difficult economics essay the other day, and I came across a word, and you know, I'm not perfect. I didn't know what it was, and I put it in, and it came up, and that was it. Simple as that. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to assume that you're not going to buy a dictionary for that because you can just use any dictionary. Anyway, so that's just there. If you want to use it, you can use it. Uh, and then we'll go to the Genius Dictionary. That's English to Japanese. This is much more useful. So, you know, you can put anything in. So, this one says, basically, put something in. This one is spelled Japanese. Well, you're not going to need this because this is... I think this is for Japanese people who... Well, not Japanese people, but anyone who can't speak English properly and can't spell words but I'm going to assume if you're putting an English word in to the dictionary I'm going to assume that you know how to spell it so we'll forget that one but it's basically a spell check uh, and then we've got like figures of speech and we've got example sentences so let's say we're putting something like um, I don't know plain so 
quite useful because you can see it's got two different types of plane because you know we know that a plane actually means something different. Let's go here first. Click exit, and we can see we've got yeah. So we've got plane, which means like boring, basically, and it says same sound. And we've got here hikoki, so plane. So, but you're gonna think now. Well, I said hikoki, but I don't know what I don't know how to spell hikoki. I don't know what the kanji is. So yeah, that's fine. You know, everyone's a different point in Japanese. So we go here. It's katakana. It says jump. So we press jump, and this little green box comes up. So what we do, we go down. Just go down and find it. I go to the first one and press this one. I'm gonna come up. Hikoki. So obviously you've got to be able to read hiragana. Um, otherwise you're a bit screwed, aren't you? You're a bit knackered. But you know, I'm gonna assume that if you're gonna buy a dictionary, you will get to that level. Um, yeah, so that's the English to Japanese dictionary. So let's go back a bit. Okay, so now we're on the Japanese to English. So now this is Japanese to English, of course. So yeah, you've got a case of um, or having yeah. So basically, you put a word in. So let's put something like let's put the word we just did in English. So let's put he ko ki. And there, there we go. It's right there. Okay, but how about we see a kanji? We see a, we see two kanji or something, and we don't know how to read them, but we can write them. So here's a nice little feature. So you've got a stylus. So let me just swap hand on it because I'm not going to be able to write with my right hand. Okay, so see here, there's a little box there. You tap that and it comes up with a little touch screen. So you can actually write the candy. So let's say we saw this one. So do it. Okay, so there we go. There's a kanji. Let's say we don't know what it is. We we'll click confirm. That's it. It's going to come up and it's going to say kokugo. So, yeah, I'm going to say one thing that the uh, the stroke order is kind of important. Well, not kind of. It's very important because. On some of the more complicated kanji, it just won't recognize it if you get the stroke order wrong. But obviously, the more the more simple kanji, you know, they're gonna be recognized quite easily. Anyway, so yeah, that's English, Japanese, Japanese, English. So yeah, you can have a few problems if you don't know any Japanese. So I wouldn't really recommend buying this until you've got, you know, I'm just gonna say until you've got past beginner stage. But even if you are in beginner stage, I would say. You could buy it as long as you take the time to go through everything in it and make sure you know what's going on. Because otherwise, you're just going to be sat there, like I was, to be fair, right at the beginning, just thinking, "What have I just bought? This is a waste of money," and uh, I feel like an idiot. So yeah, you should really uh, look up on what's going on. So um, yeah, so let me go into a few more interesting things. So. A really nice feature about the dictionary is that you can actually save vocabulary. So let's say we put that word in again, hikoki, and it comes up. So what we do is we press that one, enter, and then you see there's a little kanji down here. So I mean, I mean, I'm not going to assume you know this, but it says tango cho. So we press that one, and it's going to go to this little grid of six boxes. So these are like six different, I guess, decks of cards, I suppose, you know, vocabulary. So I've got those of different ones. Let's pay, we, let's say we put it in here, number three, and then tap it again. Oh, that's it. It's saved. And if we now go to menu, um, I think on some more time. Yep. And then we go to marker, tango, cho, yep. Okay. And then we say, look, and then we go into number three, and we should be able to. No, we can't, can we? Where is it? There we go. Yeah, there we are. It's there. 
I don't know what it's, I don't know how they're organized, but never mind. You know, you can always find it. Um, and then, yeah, we're running out of time now because it's gone a bit too far, isn't it? So let's just go over um, one more thing, or one or two more things. So if we go to the main menu again, let's go over to uh, here. Where are we now? Here we are. Yeah, so we've got Japanese books, so by author or by the title. So you can look at books and you can read them. I think it's the whole book, I'm not really sure, but I think so. Um, and then we've got a lot of crap here, we don't, don't worry about that. Uh, this is quite useful, like, kind of like, it's like a phrase book, I suppose. You know, it's got like, basic phrases, entering the country, leaving the country, staying places, eating... Uh, what's this one? Uh, yeah, going around, sightseeing, entertainment, shopping... Uh, what's this one now? Uh, trouble. I thought it said trouble. Never mind. It's my shitty Japanese. Yeah, calling, communication, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so basically it's a lot of phrases and uh, it's got the phrase in English, of course, and it's got it in Japanese. And when you press the button, obviously it's for Japanese learners. So, oh, I think I'm did it. Never mind. Um, well, it usually says it. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And then let's go over here quickly. Uh, yeah, so go down here. This took me a while actually, I didn't even realize this. Just I was translating, and this is kanji here. It says, Ro doku kukugo meisaku shu. So basically, it says, um, a collection of famous, famous, famous audiobooks. So, yeah, you go here, and then you press, say, you know, old famous ones. Uh, and let's go to Genji Monogatari. So we start from the beginning. Let me press it. Genji Monogatari. That's it. Izure no on toki ni ka. Nyongo koi amata saburai tamai keru naka ni ito yangoto naki kiwa ni wa aranu ga sumurete toki mekita mo arikeri. Hajime yori ware wa to. You get the point. So yeah, you can basically read books, and I mean, it's actually, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how much you want to read, I mean, I don't have time to read that much, so I don't really bother, but if your Japanese gets to that point, you know, you saw it, aren't you? Um, and then also, if you really, really, really want to, you can even listen to uh, famous speeches. So... Barack Obama, yes we can, but yeah, never mind, just if you feel like it, just for a bit of a laugh. Anyway, so, yeah, so final thoughts, um, I would say, if you are in a Japanese university, then I would say, yes, please do get a dictionary, because they're very useful for jotting down words that you hear in the lecture, or you see, or you read, and you can really get them down, you know, as quick as you can. Um... But if you're just at home, I wouldn't really bother because you can use websites like jisho.org to find kanji by searching radicals um, and you can even use that as a dictionary and I mean, you know, it's I'd say it's not far off what this can do. I mean, you can't read books and you can't input kanji with your pen because, you know, it's a computer, but, you know, it goes a long way and it's free. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I bought one and I like it. I mean, I didn't use it at first because I didn't really understand it. I think that's the problem. People don't use them because they, um, they get it and all they can do is really use English to Japanese. But there's actually a lot more inside dictionary than just that. And I mean, when you get into that, you really start to appreciate what it can do. So, yeah, I'd say all in all, I'd give you a four out of five. I'd say the lost number is because um, you could possibly get it in English. I think if you had it in English, it would be very useful from the beginning and it would not alienate as many people. But if you're willing to take the time and uh, learn what's going on and, you know, make sure you know what everything means, then you can really get a lot from these Dengshiji shows, these electronic dictionaries. So yeah, I, uh, this video has been a bit too long, hasn't it? But never mind, I hope you found it informative. And, yeah, please push your comments below. See you later. Bye-bye.